Hi everyone, welcome to today's podcast, where we are celebrating a very special day, the International Day of Care and Support. I'm Noor al Naimi. And I am Latif al We are really excited to talk about what care and support mean and how each of us can make a difference, not just today, but every day. You know, when I think of care and support, I think of all the ways people show kindness to each other. It's not just like big gestures, but it's all those small things that count. Uh, so, Latifa, in your opinion, what does care mean to you? Care means being there for people, especially when they need help the most, whether it's helping a friend with homework or just listening when someone needs to talk. It all makes a difference. Support goes hand in hand with that, don't you think? Absolutely. Care and support often come from family, friends, teachers, and even strangers. We sometimes forget that even small acts of kindness, like helping someone carry their things or even sharing a smile, can really lift up someone's spirit. Right, and that's why the International Day of Care and Support exists, to remind us all of the importance of these values and encourage us to to spread them in our communities. I think it's amazing that this day is recognized globally. It shows that caring isn't limited to one country or culture. Exactly. There are so many ways people celebrate this day. Like some communities organize events to support people in need, like the elderly, people with disabilities, or children who need extra care. Others raise awareness by holding discussions or workshops about the importance of mental health, compassion, and community support. Speaking of support, there is also a lot we can do right here in our school. We don't have to wait for a special day to show kindness. A simple action like inviting someone to join our lunch table or helping a friend who is struggling in class can make a big difference. Yes, and sometimes... It's the quiet acts of care and support that can really mean the most. We can volunteer to help with school events, join clubs that help those in need, or even spend time with someone who looks like they could use a friend. Remind me of something my teacher once said, you don't need a reason to be kind. Being there for others is something we can all do, no matter who we are or where we come from. Well said. And let's not forget that showing support also means taking care of ourselves. Self-care is a big part of this day too. Taking time to relax, eat well, and rest is important. You can't help others if you don't take care of yourself first. Like when we are on a plane and they tell us to put on our own oxygen mask before helping others taking care of ourselves means we are better able to to take care for others. So maybe today we can all take a little time to think about how we can support ourselves too. Exactly. So let's wrap it up by challenging everyone listening to think of one way you can show care and support to someone in your life. It could be as simple as checking in with a friend, offering help, or even being a good listener. Idea, and let's also remember to take a moment to appreciate the people who support us, parents, friends, teachers, even classmates. There are so many people who help us every day, and it's important to thank them. So true. Thank you all for turning in today. We hope you feel inspired to show some extra kindness and make every day a day of care and support. And remember, it doesn't take much to make someone's day better. Let's all spread a little more care and support in our own ways. Thanks for listening and have a wonderful day.